At this point, even though it's been a couple days, the hype for Attack on Titan is not slowing down anytime soon. We got a brand new trailer showing off new characters, new titans, and of course, new animation. If you want to know more about why the final season of Attack on Titan is being animated by a new studio, you can check out the video all about that right here on the channel. But if you've been keeping up with the My Hero Academia videos on the channel, you would know the voice actors for that anime are currently in the studio recording voice lines. This would be the same for many other anime currently at the moment. That's why the actors for Attack on Titan were able to record their voice lines in time for this trailer, even though the pandemic hit when they were in the middle of working on the final season. When it comes to the trailers for anime, Japanese trailers always come out earlier, sometimes much earlier than the English trailers. This should be obvious, but eventually the trailer for the English dub does come out and everybody's happy. Same goes for the anime itself when it releases. They always come out first in Japanese. If the studio really cares they usually have the english dub pretty close usually the closest we get is three episodes behind the sub so we know attack on titan has been alluded to releasing in the fall we recently thought october but that might actually change either way it doesn't look like the anime is getting delayed that much but in the united states things aren't going that smoothly as we know the english dub for attack on titan is done by funimation and their studio isn't quite the same as one we would see for a Japan. You see, in a Japanese studio for anime at the moment, we can see enough space for the actors to be apart from each other and still record their voice lines, so they can get voice lines recorded at the same time with multiple actors and get things done easier. It also helps that the animation is specifically made for their voices. While at Funimation, things are different. I think a director over at Funimation who's also a voice actor herself, Colleen Clickenbeard, explained this pretty well, so let's take a look at what she said. The actor comes in uh, and we put the actor in the booth alone. Uh, there is only one actor at a time in dubbing because it would be very difficult to get multiple people in a scene to do uh, the right timing all on one take. So we record one at a time. So that actor that stepped into the booth is actually the voice actor for Connie Springer on Attack on Titan, who is really freaking underrated if you ask me. But basically only one actor is in the booth, so things are ultimately going to be slow. The best thing they could do is disinfect the room for every person to come in, as silly as that sounds. But what they actually decided to do instead is shut down the studio altogether, and they sent recording equipment to some voice actors' houses to work on anime they deemed super important. And one of those is My Hero Academia with Season 4. And Season 4 has been over for a while now, and yet they still haven't finished the dub for that. And when you do hear the audio, sometimes you can tell it just isn't the greatest. In the Deku vs. Gentle fight, you could clearly hear that Deku's audio wasn't as good as how it would have been in the studio. Most anime have been postponed with no release date at all. And the anime they're actually working on is literally taking months for single episodes to be completed. So imagine Attack on Titan. The anime itself may not have been delayed much, but the English dub may be delayed to an extreme degree. I know this isn't the best news, but what can you do at this point? I want to thank you guys for watching today's video, and I would appreciate it if you left a like before you go. My name's Konjic, and I'll talk to you in the next video.